Hello and welcome to this short introduction video explaining how to get started with SnowDDL. First, you need to install SnowDDL using pip like any other Python package. Second, you need to create a new Snowflake trial account specifically for SnowDDL tests. Alternatively, if organization feature is enabled for your main Snowflake account, you can create one more Snowflake account within the same organization using the create account command. Please do not use your real production account for SnowDDL tests. Third, you need to log in into your newly created Snowflake account and create an administration user for SnowDDL. Now you are ready to start using SnowDDL. The first argument is the name of a SnowDDL config which is bundled with SnowDDL distribution. Uh, it's a basic sample config which you can use without relying on any external sources. The next argument is the identifier of Snowflake account. The next argument is the name of uh, SnowDTL administration user. The next argument is a password for SnowDTL administration user. And the last important argument here is the execution mode. In this case, the execution mode is apply, which means that SnowDTL will actually apply changes. Let's see how it works. Okay, you may see that SnowDDL created a bunch of various objects starting from warehouses, followed by roles, followed by database, schemas, other roles, sequences, functions, tables, primary keys, and so on and so forth. In total, it executed 357 DDL queries. And now you can go back to Snow site and see the results. Now you may go back to Snow site and check objects created by SnowDDL. So here is the database, which is called SnowDDLDB. It contains a few schemas. Each schema contains tables, views, stages, functions, and so on and so forth. Now we are ready to apply the second version of the same config. It is very similar to the original one, but some objects were changed. You may see that it is the second version uh, by the name of a config. Okay, let's apply it and see how it goes. Uh, you may see that some objects are being altered some new objects are being created, but some old objects are being dropped. So in total, SnowDDL executed 34 DDL queries. If we run exactly the same command again, we will see that no changes will be applied, which is correct. When you're done with testing, you may issue the destroy command to delete all objects created by SnowDDL. Let's see how it goes. As you may see, all objects were dropped. Now you may go back to Snow site and see that uh, database created by SnowDDL no longer exists. Okay, this concludes the getting started SnowDDL tutorial. Now you are ready to create your own config and start experimenting. Please visit the SnowDDL.com website for documentation and please visit the GitHub repository of SnowDDL to contribute and to raise issues. 
Thank you very much and see you next time.